We're at one end of Hope Street where the cathedral is. And this is the Catholic cathedral. It's a massive constructivist, brutalist form. I've always come here for years and years and years and every time I go in, whether you're religious or not, it's so magical and mesmerising. So the project that I'm doing is to work with uh, school children doing workshops. And with those kids, we're, we're working on making a series of artworks, which I provide like the structure for, and then and they bring their ideas to them, and that will turn into an exhibition. So what I did was we've made a computer model of the shape of this, but quite simplified as a sort of pyramid. And then we've cut that into bits on the computer to dissect it into chunks. And the kids will be reassembling them however they want, knowing that it's this form dissected. I imagine it'll look something like um, a rediscovered Russian constructivist exhibition by some constructivist artist that you'd never heard of. I think it always starts with a story, a uh, human story. Whatever sort of grasps my attention, I work with. And for example, I was interested very, for a while, for personal reasons, in ASMR videos. It's such an interesting phenomena. It's this 3D mics, and it's this membrane digital, and it's people seeking for some sort of uh, digital intimacy and getting it. This is what I'm trying to do, but through like audio, video, through these absorptions of things. My practice is photography, filmmakers. I'm more interested about to create events and some collaboration with, with different community. For example, that's why I came here to Granby. There is like some energy with the, the community. Definitely they are activists, I think so. I'm working on the film and at the same time I'm going to create a garden and the inspiration for, uh, is from this garden I saw in Algeria. And one idea is very important in this project is the idea of the resilience. The garden can be like uh, something about uh, resilience or form of resistance. So the project sort of centres around Blackburn House, the groups that are frequenting it and uh, some of the history behind where it changed from being a girls' grammar school into what it is now, which is basically a women's centre. I'm meeting with a young women's group who are just very newly formed um, and are really brilliant and got loads to say and loads that they want to do. So we'll be probably making something that's film-based. It might be an installation, so it might be split across different screens. It might have different like visual qualities as well. It might be documentary, it might be some, some of it might be more um, fictional and staged or we might veer completely off and, and bring in something completely off the wall as well which I hope we do actually. So I'm currently based in Brisbane in Australia. I'm a Bidjara man of the, 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 the cultural group the Bidjara people from central Queensland. I belong also to Gungalu and Garingbal and Gungari connections and, and ancestors. Liverpool is a beautiful place. There's lots of voices in the architecture, lots of different perspectives and voices that I can pick up on. With the multiple branches of what I've been doing in my practice, one of those branches is the wall paintings. So extending and bringing into a new space and a new time, my family's inheritance of rock art and our practice of painting and making ochre-based stencil and ochre-based artworks on walls and on our material culture. So here at the Liverpool Tate, I'm interested to continue that discussion uh, with the, the white space that's here, the white walls, and applying our pigments and our colours, but also um, working with my techniques and processes in, in discussion with the local histories and, and some content.